Hello, should you use Blueprint or C++ for your Unreal Engine projects? It's a question many beginners ask when starting with Unreal, and the answer isn't always straightforward. Factors like your objective, the size of your team, and your coding proficiency are all things that affect whether you should work in one or the other, or perhaps use a mixture of the both. I have been using Unreal Engine for years, about 90% of the time I use blueprints and I don't have as much experience with C++. I've dabbled in it a little, so in this video I want to explore. Should you use blueprints or C++? Blueprint Visual Scripting System, or Blueprints for short, allow Unreal Engine developers to create gameplay elements, interactions and entire game systems without a single line of code. Blueprints utilize a node-based interface where you can connect various nodes representing variables, events, and functions to create complex behaviors. C++, on the other hand, is one of the oldest, most widely used programming languages. It is exceptionally versatile and powerful, but it's more difficult to learn. Unreal Engine itself is written in C++, making it the programming language of choice for Unreal Engine game development. Because of its flexibility and faster performance compared to Blueprints, C++ is ideal for implementing low-level systems, optimization, and handling complex logic. Now, let's view some of the pros and cons of each system. Using Blueprints gives you a lot of advantages, such as accessibility. Blueprints' greatest advantage is its accessibility. It allows anyone from a complete Unreal Engine beginner to a designer working on a AAA title the flexibility to create and iterate on gameplay mechanics and systems without needing deep programming language. It is easier to learn, more intuitive, and mistakes tend to be easier to diagnose and fix compared to C++. This democratizes game development and enables a broader range of people to use it. Rapid prototyping. Blueprint is excellent for rapid prototyping. Since it doesn't require an offline compilation step, you can change parameters and see the results in real time within the Unreal Editor. If you don't like what you see, do some tweaking and without any recompilation, get right back into the editor to see if it had the desired result. This rapid iteration process is particularly invaluable during the early stages of development when gameplay mechanics are still being refined and can save you a great deal of time. Even if you're an expert in C++, it is faster to work with blueprints for this sort of quick experimentation since you can always rewrite the function in C++ later after it's been finalized. Visual Debugging Debugging in Blueprints is intuitive and visual. You can easily trace the flow of execution, inspect variable values, and identify issues directly within the Blueprint graphs. This makes troubleshooting and bug fixing more accessible, especially for developers who are less comfortable with traditional debugging techniques. Handling assets and visual effects. When editing Blueprint, you can inspect and modify assets and visual effects directly, getting immediate feedback on how these changes are being implemented, something that is much more complicated to do with C++. Scripted behaviors. Blueprints allows you to easily construct intuitive self-contained graphs and express a sequence of events for a scripted behavior. Not only are these scripted events easier to construct, they are much simpler to tweak and iterate than C++. Limitations of Blueprints. Performance overhead. While Blueprints can make your team more productive, the same can't be said for the actual code. There will almost always be a performance penalty when using Blueprints, which operates through a virtual machine compared to C++. Since Blueprints are interpreted at runtime rather than compiled into optimized machine code, complex logic implemented in Blueprints will generally not perform as efficiently as equivalent to C++ code. This can create performance issues that prevent your game from running at a smooth frame rate. Code management. If relied on extensively, Blueprints can easily become an unwidely spaghetti mess that is difficult to decipher, especially when multiple team members with varying degrees of programming knowledge are working on the project simultaneously. Complex math. Blueprint isn't great at handling complex math operations. Not only is it slower at doing the calculations, but the actual act of implementing complex math is more performance heavy in Blueprints compared to C++. Now, let's go over some of the benefits of using C++. Ultimum performance. 
C++ allows developers to harness the full power of the underlying hardware, making it indispensable for the most performance critical parts of your Unreal project. By writing code directly in C++, you have fine-grained control over memory management and algorithm efficiency. The C++ code can be optimized at compile time for the platform it will run on, with no unnecessary overhead. Additional functionality. C++ exposes more functionalities of Unreal than Blueprint. You can use it to do extremely helpful things such as detailed profiling to measure the performance impact of various game features or diagnose unexpected or invalid runtime conditions through the assert function. You can even use C++ to add additional tools and menus to the Unreal editor to assist designers in a way that is completely customized for that particular project. Since functions and variables defined in C++ have broader access to all other systems, it is also good at passing information between different systems. Integration with third-party libraries. C++ provides seamless integration with third-party libraries and APIs, enabling developers to leverage existing solutions for tasks such as networking, audio processing, and platform-specific functionality. This extends the capabilities of Unreal Engine and empowers developers to implement custom features with ease. If properly utilized, this can become the most useful advantage that C++ will have over blueprints. Diffing and merging. Because C++ is written in plain text, it is much easier to automate the tracking of changes whenever files are modified. This is especially necessary when a team is large. By simply looking at a file's version history, one can identify what changes were made by looking at the highlighted differences between the original file and the modified file. This is much harder to do with blueprints and generally only works for simple cases. Similarly, if two people are working on a file simultaneously in C++, it is relatively straightforward for a version control software to merge the changes, with the merge conflicts being relatively rare and fairly simple to resolve. Challenges of C++ Steep learning curve Compared to blueprints, C++ can be intimidating, especially for developers with limited programming experience. C++ is a powerful complex language, with its own syntax, concepts and best practices, requiring a significant investment of time and effort to master. Moreover, buggy C++ can do more damage to a project than buggy blueprints. The built-in guardrails are much better at stopping you from completely destroying your own project. Slower iteration times. Unlike blueprints, changes to C++ code require compilation, linking, and possibly engine restarts, leading to slower iteration times during development. This can impede rapid prototyping and iteration, particularly for iterative design processes that rely on quick feedback loops. Finding the right balance. Personally, I only really use Blueprints because I think it's a lot simpler and allows me to develop things much quicker. I have done a bit of C++, although my knowledge is much better in Blueprints. Although, with that being said, I ultimately think it's best to think of Blueprints and C++ as tools that are each useful in their specific ways and to use them accordingly. So ideally, you'd be able to just leverage what you want to use. For individuals who are just starting and have no programming experience, I would recommend Blueprints because they're pretty robust and would allow you to code anything that a basic project requires. There are plenty of online resources and tutorials that show you how to implement various functionality through it step by step. So in short, the choice between Blueprints and C++ in Unreal Engine ultimately depends on the specific requirements and constraints of your project. Hopefully you found this video interesting and learned something. And if you want to learn how to create full games inside Unreal Engine with blueprints like a 2D platformer, an FPS game, and more without writing a single line of code, make sure to check out my website, Unreal Engine University. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!